Hi everybody, welcome back to Borderlands 2. My name is Mikey Dubs. Let's play some randomized psycho in the Roguelands. I haven't gotten a, a cross-skill randomizer win with Krieg yet in Roguelands, so I'm really hoping to get that job done today. For those of you also wondering um, why I get five points in the beginning, it's because I've been running Roguelands mini. So, I'm seeing good things here. We have Cloud Kill. Death Mark is a really, really high damage skill. Um, 20% bonus damage from all sources. And how about a little bit of Blood Explosion to boot? And we do a Bozax Bombardier. And we have Fuel the Rampage to get back our action skill. But the one thing we're missing here, obviously, is Release the Beast. I don't think it's a, a secret that it's, it's almost a required skill. But I think we go one point in Death Mark here. I, I don't think that we can afford to not go it. And let's do increase your melee damage and my max health by going Iron Hand. Sure, let's do it. A little melee Krieg action. You know, it's my favorite Krieg. Melee damage plus 24%. Okay, let's go. You already know. You already know we're going the dist. The distance. I don't have Silence the Voices, but what I do have is Empty the Rage. I don't have it quite yet. And I think that my current class mod is a health regen. Fuel the Rampage. Do I have Thrill the Kill? I do have Fuel the Rampage. It's all the way down here. Here. But I have a lot of... I, I am going to have a decent amount of damage. The one thing I'm going to be missing is explosive damage. I don't think I see it anywhere. But... I mean, we should be okay. I do see Bloodbath, which increases our gun damage after getting a kill within a, with a grenade. Which, that's not going to help us that that much, realistically. And let me just make sure I take the right things here. Take a booster shield. Why not? A lot of purples here, and I haven't taken any of them, so let's just, let's just grab them. Okay, let's head out. Uh, for our weapons, it's going to be Launcher in 4, Diab in 1, Pistol in 2, and Pistol in 3. Alright, let's roll. To the southern shelf we go. Hey, hey, ho, ho. To the shelf we'll go. We are going to be going mainly melee damage. Plus 6, embrace the pain. Like this one. Oh, let's go. Little Chuck. Now you got death marked. So you can see death mark on other characters. You see that? I'll show you guys. Boom. See that zero on him? So you can death mark other characters. Or you can see the death mark animation when you're playing other characters. That's good to know. I was trying to see if Scorn worked with death mark, and I don't think it does. But as we just saw, that works out just fine. Now, a corrosive. Cloud Grenade might actually be kind of goaded for us. We'll start with a Transfusion. But a Corrosive Cloud would probably be really nice for us. That way we can get take Field of Rampage and get ourselves our action skill back faster. So we will not get full healed when we do it that way. Which is a sad truth. Are you kidding me? Did that actually one-shot me? Okay, well, what's the uh, what's the easier target? It's this guy right here with my launcher. Hoi! Thank God for that extra mag size. Otherwise, I would be dead, though. I would get a transfusion to go off. Good crit. Just back off here for a second. Don't do anything crazy. We'll get a full heal. Death mark. One slap, two slaps. It's good enough. Death mark. Every subsequent attack will do more damage. Oh, the, the long distance chuck. Let's go. Okay. And a Gatlin gun. Let's go ahead and, and equip the Gatlin gun here as well. So, for five more points, I think getting down to Empty the Rage is important. And we do have Counter-Strike. Oh my gosh. We just have to make it. We just have to make it. I see this, this impact for its melee damage potential for me. 
Or I go crisis management. It's just, it's got so much potential, this build. It just has so much potential with asbestos. Come on. And this one? Oh my gosh, it's the craziest melee build of all time. With life tap. Come on. Okay. So. What's it gonna take? Insight makes so much sense. Ranger makes so much sense too. Well, no, it doesn't give us it doesn't give us melee damage. Let's go. Let's be a little bit smart here, and let's just take gun damage and melee damage. Let's just stick to gun damage, melee damage. We, we're using both a little bit. Now, I would like to get to fuel the rampage. That's a big, big game changer for us. If we can get our action skill up a little bit more consistently. This run could definitely grow increased legs on top of the ones that it already has. Pistol damage and launcher damage. I'm not sure if either one is calculated into the buzz axe toss formula over there. But maybe a spiker, TDR to kind of cheese, maybe? Maybe maybe we will try a cheese. I'm just trying to get his, I just need skill points. Getting counter strike would absolutely make this build go crazy. Counter-Strike gives the same exact amount of damage <clears throat> as Silence the Voices, but it doesn't have, you don't have the 11% chance to hit, or 12% chance to hit yourself in the face. It's the same scaling. 50% per point. Now, what's the major downside? The major downside is you have to get hit for the, for the Counter-Strike to proc, but I've run it once before, and it seemed like I was getting Counter-Strike. Maybe not every auto, or I say auto, but not every melee. Um, but a lot of them. Can we take both of those relics? Wait for some more enemies to spawn. Go into Buzzax Rampage and we go. Okay, pick up that booster, maybe. Yeah, I think I do. You're gonna. This guy's a little bit quick, but we. That's a pretty good clear right there. We can bu let Buzzax Rampage time out. Had this Diab, I put it in slot one for a reason. Let's go ahead and see if we can crit this guy. What good first crit? Come on. Crit him. No crit. But he might be useful in getting Bingy back my Buzzard Rampage. Let's also transfusion out and plan for the future. I could I could farm some Buzzard Rampage here. There we go. That guy's taking my stuff. Don't like that. I can't hit him. I need to I need to use this times two pistol, but I'm afraid I'm not gonna be able to get through a shield any quickly. I can't I can't have something for everything. You know what? This one we pull out the big guns. Gatling gun. This this is our boss shredder. We're hoping that it can help us here. Just for a moment. I would love to save Buzzax Rampage for the next group of enemies. But now that I think about it, I don't want to get overwhelmed with these lads. Let's just let's just go ahead and do it. He's gone. You're gone, you're gone. Okay. This guy, unfortunately, did not spawn in. He did. He's right here. What a play. Let's go. Adaptive shield probably makes a lot of sense. Okay. Let's keep us moving. This could be the start of something new. It feels a right to be here with you, Krieg. Come on. We play Krieg until we get it. Okay, run. By the way, we are 0 for 0 in the gauntlet right now. So this is our first first attempt at the gauntlet. We lost on gauge. Can you believe that? Took an L on gauge. If you didn't watch it, at the, at, even though we took an L, I think it's still worth a watch. Okay, go for that Gatlin gun strike. These guys are very small. Hard to hit. That's their thing. They're hard to hit and they do decent damage. But if you do hit them, they're not that tanky. TD or tosses are becoming more and more of an option. Okay. We go, I think. Honestly, think. We go insight. And that way we can get to embrace the pain. Ambush, unfortunately, ambush, even though it is good here. Uh, I don't really have a way to get the enemies to target someone other than myself. I can get behind them 
for how long's the question? I'm doubling back. So, yeah. And also, last video, I I believe I did a little bit of testing with, you know, maybe when I'm farming out. I know I'm just I'm a professional yapper. But maybe when I'm farming out, I could just be like, okay, let's go farm the stage, and I can do this. And at each red chest, I just come back. And the video is unpaused. We check it out. I say, oh wow, that looks like a good longbow Tesla. Let's keep going. And then just at each chest. Maybe not as quick as cut as that, but maybe like this one right here, where we run over here, and then pop. We're right here, a, a corrosive Drew. Don't mind if I do. I also, I've been thinking about adding things to a soundboard, so so I can just hit like a soundboard thing and and just have, you know, just just random things. If you've ever watched the Dan Geesling stream, he does a lot of soundboard work, and so does uh, Josh Lloyd from Lockdown Fantasy Basketball. They do a lot of soundboard stuff, a lot of it. And I think it does help, you know, it just... If you have a thing you say, you can put that on the soundboard. If What's even better is if you can get voices from other people, and they're like, whatever it is that they say that you reference all the time. Oh my gosh, by the way. Dude, that was ridiculous. I'm the GOAT. No, I am. It's crazy. Okay, so do we take the Jolt's candy or not? I have a transfusion grenade. I can... I can abuse it. Let's rock. <laughs> free kills, free kills while Buzzax Rampage is down. A okay, loot enemy? That's a free kill. Everyone here, free kills. Once the grenades start, there's no stopping. You over here. Catch. Wait, you guys that survived. Catch. Watching my grenade counter in the bottom right. Okay, now that I sw some of my grenades didn't end up, or my grenade didn't end up regening, I know that my power up is gone. Is that a little cheesy? Yeah. Very cheesy. That's the whole point of the, of the candies, is that it gives you a little bit of, oh! Ping, 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 ping. It gives that little bit of randomness, the little bit of RNG that you like. All right, so we don't actually get that many skills from the legendary uh, sickle. Now I'm thinking, now that I see it. But it's still legendary sickle. Fuel the rampage, it might be end up being better. Plus six and fuel the rampage. If you had, if you had my guess or if you had my vote for what was going to be more important i would say that's more important oh man this is tough you can go ambush if you can get behind targets if you can bash them from behind but i just don't see myself being able to do that all that often but i mean if you do it's a pretty huge damage buff multiplicative damage bonus what does that mean? It's just a, from the last time I had to redeem myself, I did my math incorrectly. What does this mean? It means that if I'm standing behind someone and my melee does 100 damage to a target, it will then do 116. And say if I have a melee strike that is boosted by, say let's say I have 100% bonus melee damage, then it will be a 200 initial hit. And then I would get 100 and... I got, let, me, let me do the math. Let me do the math. What is... It would be 232 total damage. 232 total damage. Instead of 200. Right now. And at 5 points it goes higher. Okay. Let's roll. I don't think I want this fight. Oh, okay, never mind. It's not the big one. I got nervous there for a second. Alright. I think we just roll here. Bonehead, you just go straight for him. He's death marked up. We took death mark from round one. Full heals all around. Don't go down ever. Get behind enemies. You do more damage with ambush. Yes, get behind them. You do more damage with ambush. There we go. Alright, we can speedrun farm this as well. 
Okay, for our points, let's take one last point into or into uh, ambush. Now, do we want anything more in this tree? We most certainly do. We want access to Counter Strike and Blood Explosion. We got a juicy landscaper. Very interesting. All right, let's let's farm. Skull number one. Skull number two. And skull number three. Pow. Big skull. Red chest. I'm I'm an efficient farmer nowadays. Nowadays I am, I swear. Let's see what we get. Adaptive shield with all better stats. Don't mind if we do. A longbow and incendiary transfusion. I like the longbow. I like the transfusion. I'm okay with the incendiary. We'd rather have slag, but I'm not okay with that fuse time. That fuse time has got me feeling some kind of way. And it's not the good way. I'm sorry. Has to be done. Must be left. Alright, last red chest. Not liking anything there. Let's roll. So far, been in a pretty good run. Honestly, I feel pretty strong. Alright, let's open up with maybe some slag. Did I bring any? I brought no slag to the fight, huh? Not a single bit. Come on. We gotta have a little bit. No, not a single bit of slag at all. Alright, let's go. And then it's me against you, homie. Oh, yeah. You death marks? I can't bash myself, so there's really no no ne negative side of... Oh, keep keep applying death mark. Let's go. I can get behind them, too. I can do even more damage. Yes, that's good stuff. I don't have a corrosive cloud, do I? I, I don't much sure if I feel the rampage either. Jump over. Okay. Start tossing some nods, some nades. I, I can't tell which one of these like I have to kill or anything like that. Is this not the boss? That is the boss. Why does he look so tiny? Hmm, that was strange. We're, we're doing okay as far as damage on this guy. Whoa, jump over. Hop over. The more damage he does, the more I'm going to be getting my Buzzard Rampage back, so. Back and forth we go. Look, it's a little tango with this guy. So now I'm spamming my action skill button. I don't want to take a, a too big a chunk. I do want to get one kill in order to get a full heal, and then we go back at him. Death mark applied. Get behind him. Oh, yeah. There we go. Let's go. It's all backstabs. It's all bruiser play style. How could you not like that? Get behind him and bash him. Okay, so Fremington's Edge is good. The Sheriff's Badge gives us an incredible good fire rate with our Buzz Axe tosses. I think the Deadly Bloom could be interesting. I'm not entirely against it. That's what I'm trying to say. But I don't have like like the Fuser or, or Strip the Flesh or anything to, to buff it up. Okay, so at this point, I think it is interspersed outburst. Because I believe my Bozak's tosses can, can uh, rock it. So my first axe should be able to slag a little bit better than usual. Let's go ahead and see if we can get ourselves a better, sh like a shield, maybe like a class mod. The legendary psycho. What kind of skills does that increase for me? The same one here, and just just weapon swap speed. Doesn't do it. We go back to the melee damage, I think. If we get... If, do we just try to melee everybody the whole time? And if so, how are we going to deal damage to ourselves? We have a longbow corrosive cloud. That's perfect. But I don't have fuel the rampage. I don't have counter strike even. And I didn't even spend my money. This is going to be a tough fight. Okay, well, you could, you could say you could run Blood Explosion, but... Blood Explosion isn't all that great, honestly. Let's get into our... Our Axe Tossing mode. And see what kind of damage we're dealing with as far as... As far as this goes. 
not terrible. It's like it's it's like pretty atrocious, but it's not terrible. We play for power ups then, right? I mean, I'll play for blood explosion, but I just don't have the uh, that the collective parts needed, you know. Okay, we take our dot. I could always I can swap blood explosion if I want to. What would I be losing? I'd be losing some damage and some max HP. I'd be gaining Counter Strike. Fine, let's do it. Let's reach back. Let's give ourselves a chance. Let's give ourselves a fighting chance. Okay, ambush. Inner Burst, Outburst. Empty the Rage. Counter Strike. Blood Explosion. Death Mark. Death mark into Iron Hand. Okay, let's spawn in some rats. I wish I had a way to slag. I do have one way to slag. But I need to get my action skill back. So if you guys could work on that. Okay, he's slagged up. Yep, just keep damaging me just a little bit here. That's probably not the best Crows of Cloud Grenade I've ever tossed in my whole life. Maybe I can duck into it just for a second here. Go for a kill. Hopefully that blood explosion will do something to him. Doesn't look like I got one. Not a big one anyway. Is that a green power up? Yes, it is. Boom. That's how you. That's how you beat power Pete. Don't even worry about it. Taking neo generator for sure. Wow. P power Pete nowadays is so easy. All you have to do is one shot everything. I mean, to be fair. Ooh, evolution or neo generator for this build. I think I think it's neat. I think it's evolution. Wow, the fact that we got both of those is kind of ridiculous. Okay. To be fair, we could be we could have because sat there one shot in those mobs the whole game. But it's on the tier two. With a chance, with a dream. You if you add. If you add, uh, what's it called? Release the beast to this build. Do you have an all timer? I mean, this still could be an all timer if it makes it to the end. It's an all timer, and it's my first win in the gauntlet. Not the entire gauntlet, but it's the first win for the series. <laughs> the only way to get on a win streak is to get on a win streak. All right, horse me. Don't stop horsing around. NBA draft coming up in two days, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> By the time you see this, it might have already happened. I'm not trying to date the video, but 2024 NBA draft. Washington Wizards have the second overall pick. Rumors are spiraling, circling. It looks like the Hawks might end up taking Sar after all. We will see. The, the, the rumor mill is all over the place. All over the place, so... Are we up for any weapon swaps? This Hawkeye, by the way, if I put it in my left hand, is an insane crit bonus. I was watching Joel's dude play Sniper Salvador. It's busted. It's like the baby fist, but just a little bit worse, and it's a sniper. Gotta definitely add that to our knowledge, to our repertoire for sure. Okay, here we go. A little Buzz Axe Rampage. You get death marked, then you get bashed into non existence. Get behind. Get behind you. There we go. He wants to spawn over here. Are you? Gotcha. Death mark him. This feels right for that first axe to, to do like death mark, you know? Let's go across of cloud myself a little bit here. Could we sign myself my own death warrant? Could we sign my own death warrant? But I'm actually going to let this guy put me down. That way I'll have my action skill basically up and ready for when I go to fight these guys. Just don't go down. There we go. Get tossed. Get tossed. Hot loader, we gotta back up against the hot loader. Gotta back up. Go for the kill. Get the full heal. Nice. Oh, not good. That's this is a very bad situation. I didn't get the full heal. I do want to duck into that crystal cloud though. Just duck into it and get out. Duck into it and get out. Play the long game. 
Okay, doubting myself up pretty good now to the point where I might just go down. Forward and back. GG. We are mobbing officially. We are officially mobbing in stage two or in tier two as Creek. Without release the beast. Ladies and gentlemen. I think we honestly probably want to go crisis management. But it's a toss up. It's double the melee damage bonus. As long as your shield is down. That's why I'm thinking maybe the Neo Generator is better. That could be good too. That's a pretty big... I haven't gone Breath of the Service in a long time, but that could be pretty nuts. Max health relic is good too. 52%. But we can get back our action skill a little bit faster once we get Fuel the Rampage. It's an important skill for us. But the, I feel like the Blood Explosion was pretty important for that Power Peep fight. And to be fair, it kind of was. I just grab Pressure Plate. I'm still in the market for something like a Slag SMG or something like that. Okay. We hop here. It's such an easy jump. You don't have to worry about that jump at all. It's crazy how easy that jump is. It feels it just feels right to have death mark on Creek. There we go. That's that's not a bad way to slag people up. Thank you very much. A little overkill action. Let's go. And how about a non slag one? Just for the lads. That one's specifically for the lads. Let's go. Next. I don't feel comfortable with this. I don't... I haven't fought here often. Yeah. In fact, I wish I didn't have to fight here at all. There's only one way to do it. There's only one way to, do it to find out. Do we have what it takes? Yes, we absolutely do. Let's go. Yes. Go. You bash me? Then I bash you. Don't... Don't bash me. Oh, you want a bat hole. You are so lucky, bro. You want to get slagged and, da and dot into my corrosive cloud where I have the advantage? Where I go down on purpose to get back my action skill faster? Let it dot me. Get some, give it somebody real little right next to me. But I'm, I'm just going to go on record that I do not think that that is a viable all-time strategy. It's that it doesn't go infinite. But I don't need to go infinite. I just need to kill four more mobs. With my bash me, you bash me, I bash you tech, I feel like I might have the juice. Get it done. You want to bash me? Guess what's going to happen? I'm just going to bash you, Counter-Strike. Oh, GG. Okay, I'm feeling the pressure now, though. This is going to be tough. Definitely feeling that pressure. Let's go for Crisis Management. Impact. A little bit spicy, I know. A little spicy. But this this Krieg run might have the juice. A rubberized slide transfusion makes a lot of sense to me. Also, a singularity. Now that I'm thinking about it, it makes a lot of sense. You toss a singularity out there. You pull in the enemies. You go into Buzz Axe Rampage. You try to blood explode them all. Is it going to have more overall effect in this than my Corrosive Cloud? Probably not. I don't have Fuel the Rampage yet, anyway. Decisions, decisions, you know what I'm saying? Okay, let's go. You didn't even get a chance to hit me. Everybody gets blood exploded. Go, go, go. Power Ranger. Here we go. Oh, that overkill is going to go nutty. Okay, corrosive cloud the ground right here. It's not a corrosive cloud. That's a singularity. But if I can, if I can get everybody piled up, I can then try to blood explode one of them into some damage on on their fellow spider ants. I don't don't be near the cliff with this gallon spider ant though. I respect his deeps. Same way he should be respecting mine, and he's totally not. 
not cool, bro. That's that, that blood explosion really doesn't do much damage. You gotta get a nice big chain going to make it actually work. We play the long game here. Look, if you guys don't want to play aggressive, I won't play aggressive either. And we'll just wait for my Buzzax Rampage to come back up. There we go. The only person with any courage is that spider lane. They're like, this is BS. This only works because you have an evolution shield. Correct? Any more questions? Oh, they're so mad about it, too. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, wait. Yeah, I'm actually gonna die. I'm actually gonna die. I talk so much trash, and here I go. Completely wasted my Buzzax Rampage. Don't drill to the ground. There we go. Focus up. I just told, I disrespected them so, so much. That's crazy. We're completely fine, though. It's the best part. And we got a new launcher. Where doth thou be? Bandit launcher. Freak takes up the entire UI. I just want to put that out there. He just consumes the entire UI. No way. Where did that bandit launcher go? I'm going to lose my mind. I'll look for it. See you guys in a second. Okay, found it. Here it is. Okay. We roll on. Okay, a little Crosso Snyder if we need it. Five, let's take five points down this right side tree. We're going to go into... I think Asbestos makes a lot of sense, but so does Abel. Kind of want it all. And then now we can take Fuel the Rampage. It's going to help us when we when we rock this Crosso Cloud now. There we go. And now we might want to go something that, that buffs up Fuel the Rampage. This one right here, Thrill the Kill, Feel the Rampage. I think that, that might be better. So now that I can toss this Grosso Cloud down, step inside it, and then, oh, I have God Mode after the round, so you guys can't see it, Never mind. Don't worry, it works. And it dots up my, it dots up my uh, action skill pretty quick. So let's go. Does this is this build gonna have the juice for dragons? Sorry, as I kick my mic basically over, and I'm gonna say no. But let's see what happens when we get there. We don't have to worry about that until we get there, right? Correct? Am I correct in saying that? See you later. Go a little death mark action. You, she's got big damage. I've got big damage, and you hit me, then I hit you. That's the craziest part about it. You hit me, I'm gonna hit you. You thought you were the final boss, and you were. You were. Dang it. You definitely were the final. You had a lot of backup, though. Look at all this backup you got. Crazy amount of backup. Craziness. I'm gonna have to get a reload off. I'm stuck in this wall. I, do, I was reloading that time, though. Okay, here we go. Need the chain. You hit me, I hit you. You don't need that candy. Don't need it. Not required at all. Oh, it's candy season, though. Okay, so which one do we want to use? I'm gonna want... I'm going to want the green one for next round. So that I can run up and one-shot whatever boss it is. We... We will take... Pyrex for this run and go. Oh, oh. I don't think we make it in time, but we can try. I didn't. I didn't even shoot the. I didn't even shoot the. Get the lever. That's fine. We weren't gonna be able to make it in time anyway. But after the round's over, I definitely want to come back down and grab that green power up. It's a must. I was able to refill my rocket ammo though, which is big for me. All right, let's see what you got. Let's toss this crystal cloud down. Get back my action skill. There we go. You hit me, I'm gonna hit you. Come on, I gotta have the juice for it. I gotta have the juice. There's no way I don't have the juice. Yes. 
see you later. Little Eevee is perfect. It's gonna help me get my action skill back. Max health, do we, is that what we really need? Uh, maybe. Maybe. Okay, so now we can get even more points into Field the Rampage, which is really, really nice. And while moving, get increased stats. Well, we'll be moving. That's the best part. We'll definitely be moving. Okay. This, this Krieg build cruises on. Let's go. What's on my wish list right now? Mm, I'm not saying I didn't go down. I didn't pick up the, the thing that could maybe make me one shot the boss. Okay, now I'm now I'm stuck doing this BS. It doesn't even do any damage to him. Go ahead, hit me. I want you to hit me. Oh, hot loader, I I I do not want you to hit me. I want you to stay back there. Yeah, I got no damage. None damage, Captain. None damage. We might be in trouble. Don't panic. Get your crystal clouds out there. What can you do when you're gonna die? Use a gub before you die. And then let's also go for a a Garnet Droog here. Sometimes you gotta let the game carry you, and this may be one of those times. Come on. You got this far. Just block, just block. There we go. That's what we found. The crit spot. We go into Buzzaxe Rampage here. Give my chucks off. Don't do that much damage. Keep moving. I get a little bit more damage if I'm moving. It's not embarrassing damage. It's, it's decent damage. The only problem is I'm out of sniper rifle ammunition. Alright, so now I gotta go find some. Don't pick up any of it though until after you've opened up all of them. That way you can get the most amount of sniper ammo back. The biggest bang for your buck. I have two more mags of sniper rifle ammo in that chest. If I want it. Let's not take any damage from that. And also, now that we're doing gunplay, I think that this, this transfusion will just have so much more force. This one's easier to hit. It's closer. Thank God for this droog. Holy moly. There we go. And we don't die after the round's over. We're going to the moon. This is, he's like, no, it's not working. Switch it up. Can't. This is the way. So. Now. Is there anything over here that we want? Yeah, we want a life tap. And let's see. I think Reaper could be decent for a gun build. Cooking up trouble, though. It'll help us a lot. Get that ex extra regen going. A Heartbreaker. Don't mind if we do gonna go in the number two spot fireball is a negative ghost rider okay still got a chance to really use the the stink pot very much but hey we carry on at least i got an actual ethereal gift box this time okay let's hit up the box let's see what we can get I think a Logan's gun can be decent if I can get a Sham Shield and a North Fleet. <laughs> like anything else. Okay, we have an Unkept Herald for getting up from Fight for Our Life. Let's go ahead and start getting Grenade and Sniper. And SMG. I have a plan. Let's roll. It's Terramorphous. Okay, so for Terramorphous, we're going to want something that does fire damage. The Heartbreaker is good. 
This horror show should be fine. And let's do the little Eevee is gonna be good too. I should probably slap that on for its for its what's it called? Utility. Getting me back my action skill faster. But that should be fine. No way to really slag, but you can't really slag Terramorphus up that much anyway. But we're looking okay. Maybe Shotgun SDU would have been a better play there because I do have a, a Heartbreaker. would have been nice, but... It is what it is. If we beat this bad lair, then we go then we go straight on to the drags. You don't like that, do ya? I basically did none, da none damage to him. That's basically none damage. What if I did bash strategy? You're like, don't do it, Mike. You're gonna kill get yourself killed. You bash me, I bash you. Come on. Where you at? Wasting on my buzz X ray page time. You bash me? That's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna bash you. Yeah, I don't think this is a good plan. I think we might lose a Terramorphus here. And maybe it's our lot in life. But we're gonna go down fighting. Oh man, he's pissed. Oh, but he misses. Keep doing deeps. We will get out. We will get out of here live. Is there something else I can try? This Heartbreaker? Yeah. We did have to try that. And we have the wrong Relic on for this kind of gameplay. Let's just do Shotgun damage and use Heartbreaker for a bit. I don't have the most bonuses in the world, but I got some. Man, that damage is not looking too good. Ow, ow, ow. Oh, I don't go off the edge, though. Hey, there we go. That wasn't so bad. Maybe I should be focused more on slagging, because this is... long as the fight goes, the more damage Hyperius is going to... Or, Timorphus is going to do. Right here, I'm starting to get a little bit nervous with my overall health. Come on. This is my fight. This is the trials. I have a Buzz Axe Rampage. Let's go for it while he's up. Go for a bunch of hits here. That's not bad damage at all. Not bad damage at all. Get me there, get me there, get me there. Okay, that's fine. Start tossing some grenades, get a little bit of heal juice going. Okay, we play the long game. Come on. A little bit out of time here. Get those kills. Get a kill. I think we I think now we go for it. Oh gosh. This could be the end. My only friend, the end! Oh, he's respawns, he respawns. Okay, we're so back. Oh, we are so back. No, we're so not back. We are so not back. 0% back. The back is not back. No back. Oh. Well, honestly, that was a pretty fun run. We got to try like a different kind of Krieg build. And honestly, GG's to, to the game. GG's. Anyways, that's going to be it for this video. Thank you all very much for watching. If you enjoyed, hit the like button, subscribe. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye.